हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रसाद जादव एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सॉफ्टनर्स यस फ्रेंड्स वाटर सॉफ्टनर्स रिसेंटली मेनी पीपल्स हैव केम अक्रॉस दिस प्रॉब्लम्स विद देयर वाटर सॉफ्टनर्स दे हैव परचेस्ड सम वाटर सॉफ्टनर्स फ्रॉम एनी पर्सन एनी लोकल सेलर ही हैज सोल्ड देम एंड आफ्टर सेलिंग देयर आर नो आफ्टर सर्विस प्रोवाइडेड एट ऑल सो इवेंचुअली व्हाट हैपेंस पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड thinking that the softener itself is a failed technology so friends is it true or what else is going around or what exactly is going wrong so today we are going to see that what exactly is going wrong with your softeners so friends let's get started so first of all i'd like to tell you that selling of softeners requires lot of technical knowledges and technical know how it's not as simple as selling a ro machine and most of the people get actually trapped with this kind of seller who does not have any technical knowledge and they just build the softener by filling the resins and sell it to a common people who does not have any knowledge so before buying a softener you need to watch this video completely what are the requisites of buying a softener do you really require a softener and what exactly will happen after you purchase a softener so friends first of all you do you actually require a water softener to know this thing you need to actually get your water tested in a water testing lab for your water hardness that may consist of majorly two contents that is calcium scaling and magnesium scaling so if your calcium and magnesium that is a total dissolved hardness that is considered that can be tested only in a lab condition nobody can test it at your location with help of a tester there is a specific hardness testing kit which can actually test your hardness at the location itself so it is a costly thing so most of the people do not do at a inquiry process because of that kit its cost is very high and the uh, if there is a confirm order then only the hardness testing is done so better way uh, if you want a proper testing you should take your water 2 liter sample to a testing laboratory and get your water thoroughly tested for testing a water it may charge up to 4000 to 5000 rupees to get your entirely water testing done if your hardness is below 500 to a maximum up to 800 then it is considerable to go for a water softener but if your hardness of your water is above 1000 i am again saying hardness not tedious i am talking about hardness if your hardness of your water is above 1000 then you may require special kind of treatment as well as special kind of resins for your softener project the resins actually require good amount of pre filtration that may consist of sand and carbon as well as pre filter sediment filtration so if you do not have these things that may actually cause your resins to get damaged next thing that you need to consider that the water that you actually want to get softened if your daily requirement is almost of 5000 liter then you do not need to purchase a 5000 liter softener a 1000 liter softener will be capable of delivering 5000 liters of water during a period of 5 hours so what extra things do you require once your softener is installed the charging cycle is decided with the hardness and the resin every resin has its different calculation that is provided basically by the manufacturer of the resin the companies like iron exchange and other who are manufacturing the iron exchange resins are actually giving this formula that can actually tell you that how much of charging cycles you have to set accordingly the charging cycles can be entered into the automatic multiport valve that can actually suck the charging from the container of the salt water and can charge your resins so next thing what happens that why your softener has failed just in 2 or 3 months so the people who do not know how to build the softener they actually fill the vessel up to top with the softeners that means the entire vessel is filled with the resin 
they do not also understand that this is a wrong practice because the water to circulate inside the vessel you need some amount of space so the vessel should never be filled more than 60% of the entire content of the vessel so 60% of resin and 40% should be empty space so that the water can properly circulate and move inside the resin container vessels most of the people who do not know this they fill the vessels up to top even the sand and carbon vessels are filled up to the top that what eventually happens that the resin is uh, pressurized from the pipes and the pipes get choked itself second thing that most of the people do not understand that the pipe that has to be inserted in the resin containers need to be properly sealed and the football that is attached at the bottom should not be so loose that the resins can escape from that football most of the time what happens the football is not fitted properly and due to the pressure the football sometimes while insulation get removed and the resin starts to escape from the pipe if the resin starts to enter the pipe that will eventually choke the entire pipe as well as your multipole wall that can damage the entire system so what exactly has went wrong with your softener system if your softener is not able to recharge itself then there is something problem with your automatic multipole wall you need to check the settings of your multipole wall that have been entered most of the time because of power failures this multipole wall have a certain amount of batteries that can keep them continuously on most of the people don't understand this and what they do that two three days of gap is provided the people do not keep the machines continuously on that means the adapter that has been attached to the multipole wall should be kept on if that is not kept on the machine will remember the settings mostly to 2 to 3 days after that what happens after the battery has been drained out the machine is not able to remember the settings and it gets restored to the factory settings so this actually causes the failure of most of the softeners so always remember to keep the adapter on that means the supply should always be on the supply should not be kept off some people actually connect their water softeners to direct bore well machines that is 1 hp 2 hp pressure pumps that can pressurize the water directly from the bore wells or directly from the river or the well directly into the softener without any pre filtration so what happens this resins are very soft and very delicate if other foreign particles get inside that resin cartridge or the resin vessels they can uh, convert into a lumps that again disturbs the functionality of the resins so the pre filtration is very very important and the pre filtration also should have multipole wall that are set to automatic rinsing as well as automatic washing many people think that they can attach a softener vessel directly to a reverse osmosis plan so friends you need to understand that a reverse osmosis plant has a very high pressure pump that can actually suck your resins from your vessels and eventually damage the vessel itself so it is advisable that you should never use a softener vessel inside a reverse osmosis plant better you separate this both machines and use them separately so friends thanks for watching i hope this video has cleared most of your doubts regarding water softeners if you have any questions please feel free to ask in comments or even you can give me a whatsapp i'll try my level best to answer your questions thanks for watching take care bye bye jai hind